Hi, I'm Leandra Medine, the founder of Man Repeller. Hi, I'm Onifa. My name's Katie Sherman, and I'm a digital producer. Hi, I'm Jordan. And we're two of the founders of Sister Spin. <laughs> the thing that I love most about my job uh, is that I get to go to work every day and laugh. The evolution of Man Repeller has felt so natural. It was, it was really unmeditated for a long time, and that's kind of a blessing and a curse because it was accidental success, to be sure but it was still success. Sister Spin is a collective of black and brown, femme, LGBTQ plus DJ and producers um, and femme identifying people. Yeah, I make mistakes every single day. It would be so silly to pretend that I don't, but you get out of bed and you do it every day because you love it, point blank. I find it interesting that people are still sort of surprised that someone who looks like me um, would work in comedy that is very you know, a lot of the material I work on is very dirty. I think that a lot of black and brown women and femme identifying folks are a little bit intimidated by the industry. Comedy was a boys club for a really long time and a lot of, in a lot of ways it still is. A lot of times as a woman, especially as a black woman, you can feel like your voice isn't being heard or you can feel like you aren't really wanted. There are lots and lots of ways that a woman could find peace and happiness in a corporate setting without having to be her own boss. And so when I think about the ways in which we are trailblazing in any capacity at Man Repeller, it's not necessarily about how we're, it's not necessarily about how I'm running a business so much as it is the, the story that we're telling and the, the life experience that we're trying to present. And of course, our company culture is informed by the narrative that we share, the company ethos. But you don't have to be a boss to be a woman in power. We really want to be accessible. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do this, because it honestly, DJing's a lot of fun. Like, it's that's so something, fun. That's Especially something if you that love you, music. Yeah. I don't know if I'm ever going to feel like, yeah, I did it. And I'm afraid that if I do, it's not a good thing. Now there are women out there that are DJing, but we just yeah. want to—we just want to overflow. I love that the community is supportive; that it's always there for you. I mean, we we have fostered the growth of this amazing cohort of both like and unlike-minded individuals who are respectful and thoughtful and up for conversation, who can who really live within the nuances of what make being interesting. My dad, who's not in the industry, um, he always said that you should surround yourself with people who are smarter than you, that challenge you to be better. And I hope that one day I'm in the position to create that type of environment. In the future, Sister Spin's long-term goal is to expand nationally, um, globally, and eventually create a festival um, that features and centers black and brown women and femme-identifying folks who are rapping, we're singing. Just a dope ass festival. Just a dope festival where yeah. you can come, you, you can be yourself. Yeah. I'm learning for sure to accept what we've done and how far we've come much more than I ever have. Because you have to celebrate small wins, more than big wins even. You have to find one thing every day to celebrate.